Street Fighter V, all grounded normal throws have 5 frames of startup, 3 active frames, and 17 frames of recovery. Different characters have varying ranges that their normal throws reach. Varying throw ranges deeply affects the throw bait game around that character. You will need to practice different sequences for baiting throw in specific character matchups. During a wake up animation, all characters have two frames of throw and vulnerability. Here, we can see that Ken is plus five after this sequence. If he attempts to immediately throw Akuma, the throw will land meaty. The second and third active frames will whiff due to the two frames of throw and vulnerability on wake up. Street Fighter V has Kara throws. However, Unlike older games in the series, the utility of Kara throws comes not from being able to cover a greater distance, but from delaying the startup of your throw. If Ken were to perform the same sequence, but instead use a Kara throw, he would delay the startup of his throw by one frame. This would enable him to grab Akuma without having to manually time a setup. In addition to the two frames of throw and vulnerability on Wake Up, Characters are also invulnerable to throws when they are airborne or in the midst of a move that is specifically set to be invulnerable to throws. If Akuma were to backdash or perform a throw invincible reversal, even a properly timed throw would not land. When an opponent is vulnerable to throw can be deceptive and non-obvious. Even if an opponent looks unthrowable, they may still actually be. For example, you could use throw to stuff an opponent's move when a normal attack would not suffice, like if there's an active hitbox between you. Throw an opponent when they appear to be airborne, but are actually not, or even abuse the fact that specific moves shift your opponent's throw hurtbox forward. When a character is thrown, they cannot perform a back rise. They can only perform a quick rise in place or a delay rise. The knockdown advantage of a successful normal throw varies from character to character. However, if the opponent quick rises, the knockdown advantage will always be less than the total amount of frames it takes for that character to forward dash. Because of these two properties, many characters do not get a particularly strong offensive sequence if the opponent quick rises after a forward throw, especially in the middle of the screen. This makes taking the throw a much more strategically advantageous option over attempting to contest or evade a throw. If you get thrown, to continue their offense, the opponent must take an unsafe approach option or forfeit their frame advantage. If you get baited for attempting to throw tech, even in the middle of the screen, you can potentially take a full combo's worth of damage and be put into another disadvantageous situation. The only time it is strategically optimal to tech a throw is if the throw would KO you, stun you, or otherwise put you into a checkmate situation. In Street Fighter V, the throw tech window is 7 frames. You can use this generous window to enhance your defense with a technique known as delay tech. A delay tech is performed exactly as it sounds. Input blocking and then with some delay, input a throw. When timed properly, if you happen to block an incoming attack, the block stun will eat your throw input and you will block. If instead the opponent attempted to throw you, you would still have input throw soon enough to tech. The specific timing of your delay tech input will need to vary depending on the situation and sequence you are attempting to defend. During a throw or throw tech animation, both characters become immune to everything. Their hitboxes and hurtboxes disappear from the screen. You can use this to avoid some sticky situations. When a throw tech occurs, the player to press throw first is pushed backwards. The player to press throw second stays in place. Throw Escape will appear on the side of the player to press throw second. You can use the icon and the positioning after a throw tech to inform your offense with the opponent's tech timing. If you see the opponent is teching soon, you can abuse it by doing something like a frame trap or an immediate throw bait. If you see the opponent is delay teching, you can do something like a shimmy or a very wide frame trap. 
Most characters can anti-air a neutral jump after missing a meaty throw. Always be ready to input an anti-air after a throw attempt. This is particularly powerful on grapplers, who can use this to discourage the opponent from attempting to evade, and thusly set up opportunities to command grab. You can option select your V reversal and throw. This is most useful when performed as a delay tech, and it can help you if your character has moves that overlap with the V reversal input. Street Fighter V is a game where the difference between a victory and a defeat is often decided by a player's understanding of the subtleties within each of the game's systems. Knowing these quick tips might just lead you to your next win. But I mean, hey, what do I know? This video and others like it are made possible by the generous support of my patrons. I would like to extend a special shout out to my tier three patrons. Ms. Patricia, Kyra Mamcha, and Zaku3. If you would like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing here on YouTube, liking or disliking the video, and leaving a comment below. That being said, thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you have an above average day and a strong week.